This is Gary with Headshot Tools, and I'm going to show you how to set up our system for a team headshot job. The use case in this situation is for a photographer who will be taking headshots of the participants who are members of a team and will be showing proofs for selection after the job. First, log into Headshot Tools and from the Jobs List page, click on Add Job at the top right of the screen. When you're redirected to the Job Details Edit page, you will need to fill out new job details, gallery settings, and email delivery settings. For a full explanation of all the options when creating a new job, check out our video in the help section on creating a new job. Under job details, enter the name of the job, the name of the client, and upload a JPEG or PNG logo to use for the shoot. Under gallery settings, decide whether you are going to use headshot tools selection feature or have the team members select their images using another workflow like Capture One Live. If you're going to use your own selection workflow, Leave Image Retouch Selection deactivated and set image downloads to All Images Can Be Downloaded. If you plan to use Headshot Tools for proofing and selection, change Image Retouch Selection to Allow Participants to Select Files for Retouching and change Image Downloads to Only Retouched Images Are Downloadable. Under Email Delivery Settings, select Manual if you plan to send the proofs or final images after the job using our Mass Notify feature. Select Instant if you plan to upload the proofs or final images immediately as you go. Once you have selected your email delivery settings, click on Add New Job. You're all done creating your team headshot job. To see the details of the job, select it from the Jobs List page. In most cases, you will likely be adding new jobs in advance of the session, so you won't need to do anything else until you're ready to set up your tethering software. If you get the names and email addresses of the team members ahead of time, you can pre-populate the queue in your dashboard by uploading a CSV of the participants. For more information on that, make sure to watch the video on adding participants to headshot tools. If you haven't already watched the Capture One or Lightroom and Smart Shooter setup videos, make sure to watch those so you know how to get your images from your tethering software into headshot tools.